Okay, welcome back guys. We have another question from chapter 4 and we solved in the previous video the previous question before this one and we have this lever BCD that is hinged at point C and is attached to a control rod B which we know is perpendicular to the CB part of the lever and this time we need to find the maximum force P that can be safely applied at point D uh, in order to have the maximum value of uh, reaction C 250 pounds so we had a pin at point C which means we have both X and Y components so this will be our CX and this will be our CY and in the previous video we uh, explained why these angles uh, and why these dimensions are 3 4 5 and why the direction for the tension is in this way this time we're gonna do the same thing so we are obviously in equilibrium condition so we're going to use our equilibrium equations which are sum of all forces equals zero and sum of the all moments about any point in here equals zero and here since we have the most unknowns at point c uh, we're going to start with the moment about point c counterclockwise positive as always and let's see what we have so we have the tension times the distance that we have for b to c which we know is five Again, all the details for these things are in the previous video. I'm going to put the link in the description below. So we'll have uh, T times 5. So we're using the 2D shortcut that we have for finding the moment. Uh, you guys can find that video in the description below too. And we have the force P this time. The distance to point C is 7.5. We have a negative sign since the moment is clockwise and this will be equal to zero and we can find T based on P which will be 1.5 P. That's what we get from the moment about point C and uh, let's go to our FX equations. This will be our positive direction and what we have we have the force P to the right so positive P we have CX and we have t or the x component of t which will be 3 divided by 5 times t and from here we found t is 1.5 p and we can find cx based on p which will be minus 1.9 p and if we go to our fy equations this will be the positive direction what we have in fy is cy plus the y component of t which this time will be t times 4 divided by 5 and same thing our t will be 1.5 times p and we can find cy based on p2 which will be negative 1.2 p and the negative sign shows it's downward what we assume at the beginning and same for the x the negative sign shows that it's to the left so we used all of our equilibrium equations and we had a condition at the end of the question that the maximum allowable value for c is 250 which means the c max or the maximum for this c the magnitude will be 250 and we know how we can find the magnitude will be square root of cx squared plus cy squared and if we do that we'll get 1.9 p squared the negative sign doesn't make any difference in here and same for here minus 1.2 p squared and this would give us 2.247 p and we know this equals to 250 and from here and we can find our p which is 111.2 pounds and that would be the final answer for this question again a lot of uh, details about the tension and all the dimensions in here and the angles that we need to find the x and y component for t are already covered in the previous question so i'm going to put the link down there if you guys need to uh, go further into the details of those angles and that would be all for today's video you guys take care and i'll see you in the next video mm -hmm.